welcome back to Saber Outdoors. My name, of course, is Mark Alexander, your wonderful host. And guys, today, today we are going to do an unboxing, and maybe if the rain will hold off, we might even try fishing with some of our things. Guys, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go grab something out of the truck because I forgot it sitting there. I've got everything else sitting next to me, guys. This is why I am open with you all. Functional, not professional. Uno momento. All right, guys, I am back and I have my first thing. We are doing an unboxing from the East Tennessee Fishing Expo. And again, we might try our luck fishing before the day is out. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the rods that I picked up. Guys, I picked up three rods. And in fact, if you are a subscriber of the channel, you have already seen the three rods. I got three of these Shimano Claris rods. Guys, these are 7.2 heavy action rods. These should be great for any kind of bass fishing, even cat fishing. I would think these would be fine to go cat fishing with. You know, you're not going to be able to handle them as well as a cat fishing rod, but these will handle most eater size catfish. So maybe one day in the future, but right now, we have another purchase on this particular one. And guys, that is old green. We have a green Shimano Corrado. And this is the old green Corrado. And I will tell you guys, we have already filmed a video with this. And in that video, this reel did things. I'm not gonna tell you what things, but if you watched that video, you will know why I'm taking this side plate off to show are new people so in that video we had a problem we we actually had one of our brakes was missing to begin with when i bought the reel that's why i got it for cheap but the uh, other thing we had another one of our brakes come out and it grooved the outside edge of this ring. I was able to figure out which one it was and I pulled that particular thing. So uh, just real quick guys, cause uh, we're just doing this right off the cuff. We have another purchase from that particular thing. That is the Mandingo Baits Spinner Bait. I believe they call this the Contortionist because look, the head is fully swinging, the hook swings as well as the head, this should be relatively relatively hard to hang up. But guys, we're gonna see if it's gonna mess up again. I'm just gonna sit right here and we're just gonna... Nope, it casted like a drame. So guys, we can make it with this with four brakes. It's a little unbalanced, but we're only ever gonna have two of those brakes active anyway. So guys, if we get to a place where we can, we might try our luck fishing with one of these. And I have already modified this one. If you look, there is a rubber donut on it. Guys, that's the same deal that they use for these skirts. I just put one on there so that this line can't back down there. I've not experienced a lot of that, but on the odd chance it may happen, I now have a way for that to not happen. But guys, let's start dumping bags. Let's start getting into it. I will set our potential weapon of mass destruction behind us because if we get a chance, <laughs> that spinnerbait's going in the water, my guys, and I'm gonna have me a ball. But uh, guys, let's start dumping bags to uh, see what we were able to pick up. Guys, the first place we're gonna talk about, they were selling a bag of stuff for cheap. Let me tell you, they were selling it cheap, cheap, cheap. And uh, I will tell you, as many of them as I could, I got cards. This is from McKee Outdoors, and that is located in Marville, Tennessee. Guys, at some point I'm gonna go down there because they were really nice to me. I have this bag, which by itself is a value. I also have inside of it perfect early spring, late winter baits. I have a craw square bill from Bill Lewis. I have a Yamada, 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 I will eventually get it out here. Yamamoto Bates, curly tail, what do they call this? A speed Senko. 
So guys, these have tails on the back of it. That looks really good. And it's in blue blue and black. I they call it Okeechobee Crawl. I would call this black and bl blue, but maybe it's because it's dark outside. But uh, let's look around some more. Um, let's see. Two more baits. So first off, we have a Bill Le Lewis jerk bait. And does this float sink? This is a sink sinking four and three quarter in inch jerk bait and this is a five eighths weight really nice this should be great for those uh, deeper bass that are looking for something that uh, may have a little bit of a erratic action but also too for those early early er, early spring or late winter fish we have a uh, steel shad guys this will catch anything that wants to eat a minnow and it even says on on it you can bend this to make it do all kinds of weird tricks guys i've never used one of these it may be an adventure at some point we might make this particular thing its own challenge but let's get this away and uh let's pull out our next lure just give me a mo moment because i have a lot of stuff and it's going to take me a minute to undo the lot of stuff all right we'll put that one in this bag because it's just got program information and guys i don't figure you want to know about the program if you were there they're great if you weren't weren't i'm sorry you missed a great time but uh we'll flip that right here and uh, let's just start digging through it we've got a black bag and i will tell you this is day one i was very sparing with day one I wasn't so much with day two but uh, guys let's see what we have inside of here i believe this is our long creek custom swim bait guys that looks so good and you can see the the balls and the weights inside of it which is very valuable to me as somebody that wants to try his luck at making this kind of lure i can see the weights inside it's got a bristle tail so i don't have to worry about something biting the tail off this should be great fun from long creek customs guys we see them every year at the expo and we buy something every year from them at the expo because they're always quality and they're all always reasonably priced i think i paid 25 dollars for that swim bait although it could have been 30 but uh, let's start digging deep let's let's get to looking so I'm gonna pull this out and see if I can find its fellows because I have a few things to itself. Just bear with me a moment. This is the part that they don't show you on YouTube where they're like, I want to show all of my goodies all at once. And there go, go my goodies off my leg. So. The goodies I want to show you is a new and revolutionary style of bait. This is from Faithful Baits. And guys, this is not, not a regular jig. This is a jig with a hole in it for, and you will not believe it, this is for, for a Ned Worm to go through. So not only do you have the action of a jig, you also have the action of a Ned Rig that will be doing Ned Rig things like you would expect but also has that nice stout hook and it even comes with a trailer for the bait you can't ask for a be better deal than that from faithful baits and i picked up one that kind of looks like bait fish one that's kind of more a crawl color and one that's dark really pretty co colors from them and i believe i have a pack of soft baits from them as well just give me a moment to dig and look for it in the meantime right there is their information and right there there's the back of their card i'm gonna go ahead and throw it into my spare bag and let me see if i can find those uh those yes right here they are these purple black flake worms i love this color of worm i don't know if it works or not but it looks pretty and that's all i'm really caring about at the moment it is starting to pick up in rain but thankfully we're under this tree so i think we're going to be good to go for a little longer we may have to end up moving this inside. If we do, guys, don't judge me. So here are our donuts, which we're gonna use on spinner baits, buzz baits, anything that has an 
open thing, we're gonna put these on it. Or if we decide to make uh, skirts ourselves, we could use these on those as well, but I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on those. So let's see, let's see. There's that. Okay, cool, there's, there's that. So we have the Hog Farmer Micro, Micro or Mini? Is it the Mini or the Micro? Mini, Tactical Bassin Flex Rig. Guys, Tactical Bassin always is talking about using a, uh, a smaller um, Alabama rig. So guys, we bought one from Hog Farmer and we're gonna try it out sometime soon on the channel. Be watching for that video. We did get one with blades on it because guys, it's a lot easier to take blades off than it is to put them on. I figure I can take, if it's a day that I'd rather not have those, I can split those rings and get those dudes off a lot easier than I can to cut things off, add the stuff to it, and fix all the stuff. It's just an irritation. Always buy with blades because it's easier to take them off than it is to add them in. We're going to throw that into the bag. Oh, we have another one from Long Creek Customs that somehow is not in the bag. And that's this glide bait right here. Beautiful ba bait, couldn't ask for a better paint job. I favor a light colored bait, white, cream, bone, whatever you want to call it, pearl. Um, I favor that color, so that's why this one is mostly white with a black back. Red eyes though, beautiful eyes on that. We'll throw it into the extra bag. And I believe I have just what's left of our uh, our stuff just give me a moment to get it worked together so we have mandingo baits which guys you've already seen the mandingo uh mandingo uh, spinner bait you have not seen the mandingo buzz bait and guys this is half ounce white with two blades on the buzz bait side of things. Again, it has that swinging head, that swinging hook. So I think that this will be a really good option when it gets a little warmer. That's, that's gonna be a really fun option some fine morning whenever I get up early and go fishing. But guys, we're gonna put this stuff down and get into another bag of junk. Cause guys, I have lots of junk. So, the first thing we're gonna get into in this bag is the biggest thing. So guys, we have a new reel. Brand baby spanking new, and no, I'm not kissing my reel goodbye, although maybe I am. But uh, we have a Cast King Zephyr. Guys, this is a new BFS reel that we picked up, up from Saddlebrook Outdoors. Guys, if you're not, not going to Saddlebrook in uh, London, you're missing out on good local tackle shops. Um, and guys, seek those local tackle shops out because you can get good de deals from them just the same as you can from Tackle Warehouse or Carl's Bait and Tackle or Bass Pro or Cabela's or Academy or any number of other big bo box, big name stores. You can get good stuff from, from little places too. But we're gonna throw it into the bag. That one's getting plenty full. But uh, let's start, let's just dig real hard into this because it's not got a ton in it. So guys, we went to the high speed spool bear bearings people and we bought us a new handle. Guys, we have a reel that I own and I've not revealed it on the channel and I'm not going to just now, but I will say that it has a power handle on it. Guys, I don't know if I'm gonna like the power handle. So for the scant price of 25 bucks, I picked up another handle that will fit that, that reel and I didn't know why they sold me two nuts for it. I didn't know that if you have a left-handed reel that the nut spins the opposite way. I didn't know that, but they said if I put this on, on a left-handed reel, make sure I use the left-handed nut. I was like, what do you mean? They, they, was, they told me just what I told you, and I was like, that's cool. I had no idea, but uh, on top of that, we also have something for a future video we have the Savage Gear 3D Bat. Guys, that is a wild looking thing. Has two trebles on it, and it is a crawling bait. Guys, if you know what a crawling bait is, and if you have caught fish with it, 
put it down in them com comments. Tell me all about it. But uh, let's get it back in into a bag. Um, guys, we bought us a cu couple of oddball baits. So our first oddball is a spoon buzz. Guys, have you all ever seen a spoon buzz? I hadn't, at least not in a long time. But this, I am hopeful I can fish this over something really, really disgusting. Because it has a weed gar guard and it's a bright color. So it should be very noticeable to fish in the water. But it's got that little teeny tiny buzz, buzz blade on the front. And I'm hopeful that's going to be enough to draw in some bass that uh, maybe they're not paying attention. But uh, we're going to try this out at some point. And we also have our last lure from this bag. And that is, this is called a Quick Fit Fish Canine X Extreme. But guys, you may know this better as a Lazy Ike. I haven't seen a Lazy Ike in, gosh, since I was a child. Like, at least 20 years since I've seen a new Lazy Ike. Have you all ever used a Lazy Ike? If you have, description, not description, comments. But uh, I've never used one of these, so at some point, we're going to try the Lazy Ike out. But uh, we're going to throw it into a ba bag, and that empties out this one here. So we're going to add our little bag to our big bag so it doesn't fly away because I'd rather not take off running after it. But we have, <clears throat> that's just a coupon. So we'll throw a coupon in the thing. So we've got our next bag. And guys, let's see what we have here. We have a couple of baits from Advantage Tackle, Advantage Baits. Now you might be asking, why did you buy more chatter baits? Guys, look at the blade. The blade is textured. I wonder how that's gonna look into the water. And if you wanna try your luck with these textured blades, and you can see, on the back end of them. You don't have to buy a trailer for these either. They have really long things that serve as trailers, but one's bluegill, the other one's white because I love white. Right there is the information for Advantage Baits, and you can scan it. I'll hold it really still and really close. So if you want to scan that QR code and go look at those from Jason Schwartz, I don't know, know that person, but I'm sure they're big in the industry. But uh, we're going to throw this back down in the same bag because we have something else. Guys, there was somebody there that was not selling baits three, four, five, or two, four, six, or a dollar for a million. They were selling baits by the pound, like you'd buy fruit. So, guys, we bought bought baits by the pound and i apologize to that vendor i do not remember their name the the lady that was working it was exceptionally nice though but we have some big swim baits big nice five inch old school looking swim baits those should be great and the lady i asked her if these colors would run if i put them together she said yes they would so i made a point to give each one of these their own bag so let me show you the others really quick so we have smoke with i would call it smoke with uh purple grill glitter beautiful curly tail swim bait curly tail baits and you know it you love it you've already seen something like it <coughs> and that's these soft jerk baits with a minor amount of purple in them but they're mostly just salt and pepper and they do have that split in the belly they had some with and without i want them with the split because when I rig these weedless and they do their thing, I want to nail some fish with an extra large gap hook. But guys, we're gonna put this down. That's this ba bag EMT. And let's get into the next thing, which is right here. So, let me find all the things. 
Okay, so this only has a few things in it. Now, you've seen me laying a couple of things aside, and that's because I bought things from this particular vendor multiple days, and that is Ray J Lures. Guys, this gentleman was exceptionally nice to me. Right there is his information, and right there is also his information for you all to see. This gentleman was exceptionally nice to me, and he hand paints every single lure. Look at how big this square bill is. Look, I'll put my finger next to it. It's nearly that huge of a bait. I think this is gonna smash some big fish late th this winter, early spring. I think this is gonna be a dominating bait because I've never seen a square bill this big. And on top of that, we didn't just get big baits. We got little tiny micro baits as well. We pick, picked up a couple of these really small, this is a lipless crankbait, although it doesn't look like a traditional lipless crankbait, which is what draw me, drew me to it. But also we have a little tiny itty bitty glide bait. Like look, you saw my finger earlier. This is like two joints of my finger. It's like two inches. This, this is gonna be fun when we're getting around around some of those docks and we're dealing with not so giant of fish but sometimes you know small baits catch all fish big baits catch big fish so with that big square bill i'm trying to catch big fish but with those small small baits i'm trying to catch all the fish but uh guys here are the other swint uh, spinner baits from Mandingo. These are a quarter ounce. The big one that I have on the rod now is a three quarters of an ounce. So a big difference in weight there. But they had a lot of used stuff there. And guys, do you buy used stuff? I want you to tell me in the comments. Do you buy used stuff? Because I certainly do. Guys, there's nothing wrong with used stuff. So I picked up a used automatic fly reel. So guys, I can twist this reel and there's a spring inside and watch. It will retract my line for me. <coughs> oh my gosh, yes. And this one does not sit like this. This one's gonna sit like this. You can see those reel seats are there. I am very curious to use this. By the way, if you care about what brand it is, this is a South Bend automatic number 1180. So model A. So guys, this is definitely something niche. I'm gonna try that out because you all know if you've watched the channel for a while, I love going bluegill bass fishing with a automatic fly reel and fly fishing in general. But guys, let's get to our very last thing. And our very last thing, I'm just gonna cram this back in the same bag. Our very last thing is from Motion Fishing. Guys, Motion fi Fishing was exceptionally nice to me. And guys, there's a code on the back of the Motion Fishing thing. Right there it is. And that code is good until December 31st of this year. Guys, go use the code and tell them I sent you. They're not sponsoring the video or any videos in the future. I'm just trying to get a young new business over with you all. Again, that's their their front. That's the back. So let's, let's dr drag out what I bought from them. And what did I get from them? Guys, I want you to guess. I'm going to give you a few seconds while I drag this out to guess. You can pause the video if you want more time. But time is up. Guys, I bought plastics from them but these are plastics straight out of the mold they have the sprue that the plastics are made onto already on there i've got these little tiny cross chunks for small jigs i've got these i could fish these by themselves they're a creature bait of some variety or i could put them also on the back of a jig or a buzz bait or a spinner bait or any number of other things but also too i have the sprues which we might do something with at some point. And these, this plastic is relatively strong. You can see I'm, I'm putting out some effort on this and it's not immediately breaking. But guys, let's stop looking at baits and let's start using baits. Let's go sit, get this uh, spinner bait in the water and see if we can catch one. All right guys, you can plainly see that it is 
not pouring but it's got a pretty nice little uh amount of rain going so we're gonna try and stay under this uh under this willow tree for a little bit but we have our three quarter ounce mandingo bait on here and uh of course it's got that swim it's not swim bait it's uh that soft jerk bait on the back and i am going i had this text pose i'm gonna remove that text pose because we're not going to be in such heavy cover i'm going to expose that hook a little bit so that when that bass hits he's mine but let's get in the water and see what we do all right guys so i'm gonna go ahead and call it for the day because it's not supposed to get any better as far as rain and uh unfortunately the bass didn't want to play today but uh i do want to say if there is an expo nearby you, if there is even one not nearby you, go. It is a blast to go walking around and being amongst our people. Crazy fishing people. Because that's what I am. I am a fishing nut. And it's so nice to uh, to be at what I, I would call a basket of nuts. Because, <laughs> guys, there are plenty of other people there that they also have a huge passion for fishing, a huge passion for the outdoors. You should go and be amongst those people. And guys, there's expos still to go. I know of at least two for sure, maybe a third one. I know there's the Alabama Expo coming soon. There is the, uh, the West Virginia Expo coming soon. I think there's one up in Akron, Ohio, and Columbus, Ohio, and maybe in Cincinnati as well. Guys, if there's a big fishing style sort of event, outdoor sort of event, go. Go and get out in the outdoor doors, indoors if you have to. But in the meantime, that's all there is for this video. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell notification. And please, if you want early access to any video that I'm going to put out, get a membership. $5 per, per month. You can easily do that. That's not even a cheeseburger burger at a fast food joint but it means a lot to me thank you so very much for watching we'll see you somewhere in the woods or on the water